Welcome to GV Global, where we bring you the latest GV news from around the world. At the end of August, GV Vietnam signed a very important contract with Saigon Speed Center in Ho Chi Minh City. The shop, located in the strategic District 7 of the largest city in Vietnam, will be a GV distributor for the full range of products manufactured by our Asian subsidiary. The occasion was celebrated with a big event where customers could purchase new GV products at a special discount rate and also have their own GV cases and helmets checked and refurbished for free by GV technicians. During the event, a new and exclusive riding jacket was introduced to the public. A limited series of only 100 pieces will be available for the Vietnamese market. A very exclusive technical garment that not only provides level 2 protection and armor, but it also bears the two prestigious logos of the MotoGP Team LCR and the GV 40th anniversary. Back in Italy, our headquarters in Flero welcomed two very special RTW travelers from Malaysia. Mode Alpha Sharon, nicknamed Duji, and his partner embarked on a true adventure when they decided to accessorize their small scooter and set out to travel around the world. Last week, they stopped in Flero at GV Italy, where they were received like the social media celebrities that they are. They enjoyed a guided tour of our headquarters and met in person with the CEO of the GV Group, Ms. Hendrika Vincenzi, and GV Overseas Operational Manager, Mr. Joseph Peruca. Meanwhile, their scooter was in our main workshop, where our technicians checked their GV accessories and performed some heavy-duty maintenance on the scooter itself. Duji and his partner have been on the road for 100 days already. They rode for more than 20,000 kilometers, and they've been invited to several events and TV shows along the way. Once again, a good couple of weeks for all GV-supported teams and riders. In MotoGP, it was Andrea De Vizioso aboard his factory Ducati, who took a dominating win at the San Marino Round in Misano, Italy. It was the first ever victory for Andrea here at what is literally his home GP, as he lives just a few miles north of the circuit. His teammate Jorge Lorenzo, who clocked the pole position on Saturday and led the race for the first seven laps, unfortunately crashed out while he was in second place with two laps to go. At that point, Marc Marquez moved up to second and Cal Crutchlow aboard his GV-sponsored LCR Honda snatched the third step of the podium. It was a lonely race for the Briton, who lost contact with the top three early in the race, but consistently showed that he had the speed to stay with them. His podium finish was the first after his victory in Argentina early in the season. Cal's teammate, Takaki Nakagami, had a good weekend in Misano too, where he finished in 13th place, improving from his 19th spot at the start. After a long summer break, it was finally time for the World Superbike Championship to go back to racing. Toprak Rosgatlioglu, with his foot finally healed, posted an excellent eighth place finish in race one at Portimao, first among independent riders. Unfortunately, the young Turkish sensation crashed out of race two when he was in 13th place, closing the Portuguese weekend on a bittersweet note. In the United States, it was time for Giacomo Redondi to defend his leadership in the standings of the Work Series. The Italian was able to secure a fourth place finish in the dusty and brutally hot round of Glen Helen in California. And he now has a 15 points margin over his main competitor, reigning champion Gary Sutherland, with two more races to go. A curious fact about Redondi, he is splitting his time between the US and Europe, racing three series on two different motorcycles. He uses a stock KTM 450 in the works and a factory-supported Honda in Europe, where he competes in selected rounds of both world and Italian Enduro championships. It takes talent. All right, it's time for this week's product spotlight. This week we have the GRT 709 Gravel T Saddlebags. Watch this. GV is known for their high-end Italian design, strong technological attitude, and knowledge of materials. GV's lineup of the Gravel T soft luggage is designed for flexible, rugged storage on light vehicles. And the GRT 709 is the saddlebag. Each GRT 709 saddlebag has a 35 liter capacity, which means that you've got a total of 70 liters to stow whatever cargo you need for your adventure. 
These bags are made of high resistant 1200 WR polyester material that resists UV exposure while providing a combination of flexibility and durability that won't let you down in off-road conditions. Reflective prints offer excellent visibility in low light conditions. The quick release UniFit mounting system with GV security locks makes getting these bags on and off your motorcycle fast and easy. The GRT709 saddlebags include nylon plates for fastening to tubular side rails. Roll down closures are waterproof, ensuring that your belongings will stay clean and dry regardless of rugged or wet riding conditions. An inner bag is made of easy to spot yellow tarpaulin material that is IP65 rated, offering even more protection against heavy rain and extreme conditions. This fully removable bag has a document pocket and comes with a carrying strap for off-bike travel. The saddlebags themselves have a bottle carrying pocket for easy access to hydration and shoulder straps when you need to transport the bags hands-free. The GRT709 saddlebags also come equipped with the Molly system on both the front and bottom sides, giving you sturdy webbing to strap any gear that you might want to access on the fly. Thank you for watching this edition of GV Global, where we bring you the latest GV news from around the world. And don't forget to subscribe to our GV YouTube channel to be notified when the next episode will be online.